Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your current PC hard drive with your WD Black Square dual drive. Before we get started, please be aware of two very important facts. One, that the WD Black Square dual drive requires that your PC be 9.5 millimeter hard drive compliant or your new drive will not fit. And two, this video is for those of you looking for a clean OS installation. Cloning is covered in a separate video. So let's get started. Because PCs vary, you'll need to locate your original PC's user manual or download a new one from the manufacturer's website. This will provide you with the manufacturer's recommendations for removing and replacing the installed hard drive. Be aware that some manufacturers explicitly state the voiding of any warranty for your PC if the case is opened. Please check your PC's owner manual for warranty information before opening your PC case. When replacing the drive in your notebook, it is important to have the original operating system installation media, which would be a CD or thumb drive. In recent years, PC manufacturers have included a special partition on the drive that contains all of the system disks, drivers, and pre-installed programs. Sometimes they have a program installed on your computer that enables you to generate new system disk DVDs or to save these files on a flash drive. Do not attempt to replace the drive if you do not have this installation media. Find the media and have it close by before you start. This would be a good time to back up your current hard drive. All hard drives are sensitive to static electricity. We recommend that you wear a grounding strap. You may also touch something metal to ground yourself if an anti-static strap is not available when handling hard drives. One thing to note is that you may need to deauthorize some programs on your system before proceeding. We suggest checking with the software vendor for specifics. Common programs that may need deauthorization are iTunes, PC games, or Adobe Photoshop, depending on the version. Remember to write down your serial number for reference in case it's needed later. What you're seeing now is a quick reference on how to deauthorize iTunes so that we may proceed with the upgrade of your system. Once you have deauthorized the necessary applications, we can move on to the installation of your new WD Black Square dual drive. The actual physical installation of a new dual drive will take about five minutes. After your dual drive is removed from the box, place it on an anti-static bag it came in, in a clean, level, non-metallic work area. Notice in the box there is also a WD web key. Keep this nearby, you will need it soon. Be aware of the different length screws and sizes as you remove them since they will vary and they must be used in their original locations when replacing your old drive with a new WD Black Square dual drive. I suggest you take a picture of the bottom of the case before you remove any screws. It will help in case you forget where the screws go. Oh, one more very important thing. Be sure to unplug your PC from any power outlet and if possible, remove the battery. Now, let's remove the PC case and your old drive and install your WD Black Squared Dual Drive. There, it's that simple. Your WD Black Squared Dual Drive is installed in your notebook and you're ready to install the operating system from your original media. Be sure to install a fully loaded OS with network connectivity or set up network connectivity immediately after launch. Details will be in your Windows installation manual and you'll be guided on how to boot the system from the media. If the system doesn't boot into the flash drive or DVD containing the system OS, then you may need to go into your BIOS and adjust the boot sequence so that it looks for your DVD or flash drive first. Validate that the system sees the WD Black Squared dual drive under the boot section in your BIOS. Make sure you save settings upon exiting. You will then fully install your operating system. 
Once installation of the OS is complete and you're at the desktop, you are now ready to plug in the WD web key that came with your dual drive into the USB port. That will take you to a link which will get you to the WD support site. Here you'll download the WD Blackscored software. Your download time will vary based on your system. Once downloaded, launch the installer application, which will appear on your screen as WD Black Squared Installer. Click Yes. Select your language preference and click. Now you are in the software welcome screen. You should not need to check for updates if you just downloaded the software. Click Install. Click on Accept after reading the legal agreement. Then click Next. You'll see pertinent information about your WD Black Squared dual drive. Click on Proceed. If you see any message of an installation issue, please go to the WD Frequently Asked Questions. Click on Finish and you will see the secondary partition on your hard drive. What you can do to confirm that the partition is set properly, right-click on Computer, click on Manage, and then click on Disk Management. What you are seeing as the new partition is the one terabyte hard drive portion of the dual drive. The drive letter may vary depending on the amount of storage devices present. No reboot is required after this point. If you had an issue with installation, you may need to check to be sure that the SATA mode is not set to RAID mode and is in HCI mode or a non-RAID mode. Here's what you should look for. At this time, you'll want to migrate any folders, docs, media, and other user data files from your old drive or backup. Since the WD Black Square Dual Drive SSD has 120 gigabytes, you'll want to put them on the one terabyte hard drive. We strongly recommend that you set up your default user libraries, such as My Documents folder, Music folder, and Photo folder on the hard drive and not have them on the 120 gigabyte SSD. If you are importing content from your original drive, be sure to import it to the one terabyte portion of your WD Black Square dual drive. First, go to the bottom of the screen and open the file explorer. Under libraries, you'll see documents, music, pictures, video. The first thing you'll do is create a new location on the D drive, which is the hard drive, the one terabyte portion of the WD Black Square dual drive. Right click on documents, go to properties, and left click on that. As you can see, the current file path is to the C drive and what you want to do is create a My Documents folder on the D drive. Right now, you are not going to delete any files off the C drive in case there are any that you want to move later. What you'll do is click Include New Folder, located at the bottom. Then you'll go to the side menu and select the D drive. Right click into the white space of the window. Go to New and create a folder called Documents on the D drive. Once created, you'll see the folder at the bottom and you'll select the option to include folder. Notice that it is now added to the menu list. Select the New Documents folder and click on Set Save Location, then click on Apply. Now you'll go to the C drive and migrate those files over to the D drive. The way you do that is select the C drive, Go to and double click on users. Go to your username and double click on it. Then go to my documents. Anything in this folder you'll highlight, right click and copy. Now you can select the D drive where you created the new documents folder. Double click, right click and paste. Once everything is migrated over properly, you can check this by right-clicking on the folder and validating the files and folder sizes match. You can see the folders in the new D drive documents. You can go ahead and right-click on the documents again, go to Properties, click on Properties, and remove the old location by selecting the old location here on the C drive and click on Remove. If there is a public folder, we suggest you remove it in the same manner as it is rarely used. If you do use public folders, you can set one up on the D drive. Go ahead and remove, then apply. Click on OK. Now you'll do the same process with music, pictures, and videos. Select Music, right click, select Properties, select Include a Folder, 
select the D drive, right click in the white space of the folder, select create a new folder, name that folder music, select include folder at the bottom, click on save location, and click on apply. Now you'll go into the actual music folder, select all the items you want to move, copy, click on the D drive, select the folder, and then click on paste. Once completed, go back to the properties window and remove the original entries. Then click on apply. Click on okay. The same process will be used for the other user data on the C drive. The way you've set this up is that anytime you create new content, it will all be saved to the D drive rather than the SSD C drive. If you're not comfortable installing your WD Black Squared Dual Drive yourself, you may take your dual drive and PC to any qualified notebook or desktop system servicer. These technical centers will inexpensively install the drive for you. Be sure to register your dual drive and look for any available updates on our website. And if you'd like to learn more, WD has an online knowledge base with over 1,300 frequently asked questions and over 90% self-service rate. Thank you for watching this video and purchasing the WD Black Square Dual Drive.